What's up everybody? So I'm happy to have you guys here today. I got some really killer books that I got today. Uh, well, not necessarily today, but the ones I'll be showing today. So I decided to make another haul video because my brother's been on my ass for the longest time. Um, he's been giving me shit all the, like, almost every other month. Talk about you haven't been making videos. Uh, you need to start making videos again so I can watch something. Uh, so this is for him. Making it for you, Din Din. He hates it when I call him that. That's what we used to call him when we were kids. But you guys got to check out these really killer books that I got. So starting off today, I got is this um, Star Wars Insider. This is number 204. This is from, uh, I think, Frankie's Comics exclusive. Uh, they ended up doing a glow-in-the-dark cover right here. This lightsaber glows in the dark. It's pretty cool. I already checked it out in, in, in the dark, and uh, it looks pretty cool. The only thing you can see is lightsaber. It would have been cool if they would have um, put a little bit of glow-in-the-dark on Yoda himself. I thought it would have been pretty cool. All right, next up here I got is a really cool variant that I, I personally like. Um, this is uh, by Lucio Perillo, or Parillo, whatever you want to pronounce it. But this is a Miles Morales, Miles, Miles Morales Dark Ages number one. Sorry, I'm tongue-tied, guys. So this is by Perillo, Dark Ages number one, really cool Miles Morales variant. Comes with a trade dress also. I had gotten these from um, Izzy's Comics uh, not too long ago. So... Some of these books I've had for about a couple weeks or whatnot, but I just wanted to show them off in this haul. Uh, this one is Star Wars Adventures. Um, this is the Retail Incentive. I think it's a 1 in 10. I got a bunch of the uh, regular ones. It's a first appearance of, I think his name is Ty Yorick, I think his name is. So uh, I just wanted to get one of the black and white sketch ones because I got the regular cover also. All right, next up here I got is Kaiju Score number one. Uh, this is the third print, Kaiju score number one. Um, I forgot what shop was selling these, but it's a third print limited to only 2,000. So I ended up picking up five. They were relatively cheap. They weren't too expensive. So that's why I ended up getting five of them. So that movie, before it takes off or whatnot, if it hits big or if these start hitting big, then, you know, I definitely got them. So that's what those are. Like I said, a 2,000 print run. This is a really cool book. I pre-ordered these a while ago. Uh, I think I pre-ordered them from Third Eye Comics. Um, these are, I think, a 1 in 25, but it's like a Castlevania variant looking thing. I, I thought it was really cool. and has the new Scarecrow, I guess, on there. So Scarecrow Rises. I just thought it was a really, really cool cover. It might be a Castlevania from when I was a kid. So I ended up pre-ordering two of those. Got them from Third Eye Comics. I know the homie Brian Wood usually gets his comic books from there, so I pre-ordered from them. Next up here I got is Wolverine number 15, which is a, a really cool Jubilee cover, beautiful cover by In Hugh Lee, which I thought was really beautiful. So I thought that was a really cool Jubilee cover. Uh, I ended up getting five of those. I hold auctions on Facebook, so a lot of times when I get these new books, um, I will put them in my Facebook auction for cover price just to... Uh, draw some people in so I ended up getting five of those got four here one of my auction next book up here is uh, Vampirella number 23 by Warren Lau beautiful beautiful cover I ended up getting five of those also look at all that detail on that cover beautiful beautiful cover so I ended up getting five of those love that cover next up here I thought was a really a really really cool book really really cool but this is um, Captain America uh, of the Kickapoo tribe. This is his first appearance as Captain America, the first Native American Captain America. So that's Captain America number three. U the United States of Captain America number three. This is the design variant. I think it's a design variant. But I uh, thought it was really cool. So I got, ended up getting five of those. And then I got a bunch of the regular cover. I won't tell you how many I got, but I got a bunch of the regular cover. Um, I just really enjoyed this, looking at this regular cover. I just thought it was really cool. Um, I'm not sure if this is a one-shot. I'm pretty sure this is a book that Marvel's like, I'm going to do a one-shot and see how well it does. Um, I don't think a lot of people ordered this, but I did. I just thought it was a beautiful, beautiful cover. So I just had to get that. This also celebrates Cap's 80 years. So like I said, this is his first appearance as a Native American Captain America. Just thought that was cool. Look how cool the suit looks, man. Looks really, really cool. And the artist did a great job. Uh, I forgot who the artist was. Uh, yeah, I don't remember who it was, but still, beautiful, beautiful cover. All right, let me throw all those to the side. I got way too many. 
All right, next up here I got is another cool book. Uh, there's been a lot of a lot of talk about the new Werewolf by Night TV show. So thanks to the homie Tim, um, Tim the Canadian Comic Hunter, uh, was giving everybody a tip on his page. If you're not following him, please follow him on IG. He gives a lot of good information. But this Werewolf by Night, this is the, uh, I think, Perillo. Yeah, this is a Lucio Perillo variant of Werewolf by Night number one. Beautiful, beautiful cover. I think it's limited to 2500 for the trade dress. I'm not sure if there was a virgin or not, but I just had to get that. Beautiful cover. Love it. Lo love how that looks. All right, next up here I got is um, these are Cherry Pop-Tart. Uh, this is the Jabba the Hutt Star Wars um, rendition. <laughs> I just thought it was really cool. So uh, Jimmy from Comic Book Speculation, uh, he had these made for his shop Hip Hop Comics. And he was promoting these on Instagram. I guess he had some damages uh, that some were pretty dinged up, had like bands and stuff on them. They only made 69 of these and they're all numbered from 1 to 69. Uh, this is like 31 and 33, the numbers are. I ended up pressing these out. One pressed out really, really well. One has a little bit of remnants on it from, from the from the bends, but it's not too bad. So I'd say it's at least like a 9.4, 9.6 type. Um, the other one looks really, really good. I was able to press it out really well and it looks beautiful again. Um, Jimmy said he's going to be selling some of these uh, very fine plus ones on his Instagram page. If you guys want some, hit them up. But the rest are being graded. I'm going to see later on if he's going to sell some of those graded so that way I can hit them up and see if I can get one of those graded if one of mine doesn't come out a 9.8. Uh, next up here is Infinite Frontier number 6. This is such an awesome cover. It's uh, I think it's the Puppeteer variant. I forgot what the full name was of it, but it's a dark side cover. I just really, really love this cover. just thought it was awesome. Um, a lot of them have this issue over here where they got scuffing on right next to the spine. But other than that, I mean, it's 9496 criteria, but it's a beautiful, beautiful dark side cover. I had to take it out of the bag so that way you guys can enjoy the way it looks even better. You see the scuffing right here? Got scuffing right there. A lot of them I saw on eBay had the scuffing, so um, I got this one at a decent price. Want to get it just in case they skyrocketed. Got it for around like 30 bucks. I think they're selling for around 30 bucks right now too. Um, I might wait until somebody, because I don't know if I could polish that out. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Uh, but if not, I'm going to try to find 9.8 later on, because I just think that is such, such a beautiful, beautiful cover. So, like I said, I just had to get it, even though it had the scuffing on there still beautiful to me all right next up here this is a hard hard to find ghost uh this is hellings number one the silog variant this cover is a ghost cover you can't find any of these on ebay hopefully they'll start popping up if more people see this but as of right now i think this is a one in 100 maybe one in 100 something like that i can't remember but it's it's a kind of a ghost book there's none on ebay or i couldn't find any other ones anywhere else so I got this actually for a really great price. I was happy to get it. And um, this is all I want to have. Uh, it looks looks after a press. I could press this 9.8 maybe. Um, it looked really well. Didn't have any color rub or anything on the back. So I'm really happy to have this. Hellings number one Psylocke variant. I forget who the artist is. Um, I don't see any writing on the cover who it was. but. All right, next up here is uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man Annual number one. This is the Fleex variant. Beautiful, beautiful cover. I just had to have this. The price is coming down a little bit on these now. Uh, so you can get it for less than $100 now. But uh, I got this one for about that. But I want to get another one. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Looks like with the light shining on, it looks like that that it, it's uh, that his flash is actually on. So really, really cool. Happy to have that. All right, next up is Marvel Action Spider-Man number 10. This is a John Boy Myers variant. I got this for a great price. Really, really happy to get this. So happy to have this. That price is not what I got it for. I actually got it for way less than that, but happy to have that. Next up here is Pop Kills number one Adam Hughes variant. I'm so excited to have this. Look at how beautiful that is. I'm so, so excited to have that. Oh man, look at that. Such a beautiful cover. You gotta see that up close. Such a beautiful cover. All right, guys, last but not least, I have some really great slabs to show you guys. I'm really happy to have these in my PC. 
Um, first off, I got is a All Star Comics number 58, first appearance of Power Girl. Uh, it's a CDC 7.5, but oh man, the pressable issues on this book is freaking insane. Like, this book could actually get like an 8.5, maybe 9, um, depending on how well it presses out, but um, maybe a 9. But there's so many bends and creases and everything on this book. Either they overgraded this book. I haven't really looked it over too well to see what I would grade it as such. But um, maybe they overgraded this a little bit. But this has a ton of issues to press out. So hopefully when I press this out, I can get an 8.5 to a 9. Uh, it's a beautiful book otherwise. I mean, it still has its flaws, you know, like a little bit of discoloration, corner blunting and everything else. But the back looks decent. Looks pretty decent. Um, like I said, it needs press. It needs a clean. And it definitely, hugely needs a press. So I will definitely get this pressed out. And uh, I'm probably just going to break it out after I make this video and just put it in a bag and board so I can press it and submit it with the other six or seven copies I have. Uh, that's what's probably going to happen to this one. All right, next up here, I got, I'm really happy to have another one of these. Um, this is Amazing Spider Man number 36. This is the 9 11 issue. Um, this is a great looking copy. I got this for such a great price. I'm so happy I got it. It's a newsstand, so of course I had to get it. So this is my second copy of a newsstand I got. Uh, these are not easy to come by, especially with the all black cover, especially being this high of grade. This one will definitely get broken out and pressed and put into a new case. Uh, I don't see any issues that would keep me from getting a 9.8. Uh, it still, it does need a press because there's some little dents and stuff on the cover little bit of a bend here but other than that I think this has a great shot of getting 9.8 this uh, has scuffing over here but that's from the case itself but damn happy to have this great looking copy in my hand like I said I got a, such a great price on it. I'm so happy to have it all right last but not least I'm so ecstatic to show you guys this one this one this one right here is insane um, I can't believe I got it it has a couple pressable issues on it uh, that I need to press out and it needs a clean on the back but I'm so happy to have this and I'll let you guys know in a minute why oh man I just love looking at it like I said it, it has pressable issues this has a great shot great great shot of becoming a 9.8 after a press but this is Astonishing Tales number 25 first appearance of Deathlock but the reason why I'm so so happy to have this it's a 9.6 which is such a high grade really high grade um, I got like another five or six copy of this also but not as high a grade as this one uh, I bought this a while ago I was the only one that bid on it and I was happy I was the only one that bid on it I got it for pretty much asking price of what 9.6's are going for but the reason why I had to have it was because it is a Mark Jewelers variant do you see that Mark Jewelers insert right there oh man so happy to have this in my collection Mark Jewelers insert. Jeez. Um, I have a couple Mark Jewelers inserts, uh, but n none this high and none with a key appearance like this. But man, so happy to have this. Astonishing Tales number 25, first appearance of Deathlock. Look at that. Mark Jewelers insert. So happy to have that. All right, guys, so that's my haul. Let me know what was your favorite book in the haul. I appreciate you guys. If you guys give me a thumbs up, if it's your first time on my channel, please subscribe. Um, I'll probably start doing a little more, either haul videos or some pressing videos or whatnot. But I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate everybody who comments. I really love comments. I try to respond to every comment I can. Um, I don't always get to all of them, but I try. And I appreciate all you guys. You guys keep looting those long boxes. I appreciate you guys. Peace. Hey. Yeah.